My name is Dr. Deborah Wilson, and I'm here to talk to you about menopause and hormone replacement. So to give you some background, in 1900, the average age of death for a woman was 50, and the average age of menopause is 50. So in 1900, women didn't have to deal with menopausal symptoms because most of them died about the time they became menopausal. But these days, women are living to an age of 83 is the average age of death as a woman now, for a woman now. So a woman is spending 30 plus years of her life uh, menopausal. And, um, and women can have very significant symptoms of menopause, hot flushes, night sweats, uh, mood changes, insomnia, vaginal dryness, lack of sex drive, uh, skin issues, memory issues. Uh, so the list is long. And many women breeze through menopause. It's, it's easy for them. They really have very few symptoms. Uh, they're not bothered by it. And that's great. That's great. And, um, and those women don't need treatment. They don't need any intervention whatsoever. But for women who have symptoms, uh, particularly severe symptoms, uh, we do have hormone replacement options for most women. Now, let me say right now that there are some women who can't take hormone replacement. Say a woman who's had breast cancer, has clotting abnormalities, uh, women who tend to form clots, women who've had a clot in the past. Uh, hormone replacement for them, particularly estrogen replacement, is what we call contraindicated, or it's just not safe. But for women who don't have these contraindications, we have a number of options. Um, we have estradiol, and estradiol can almost immediately stop hot flushes, night sweats, and the insomnia that accompanies these night sweats where a woman wakes up, she's soaked, and, and she has to go change her clothes because it's so uncomfortable. So those, are, those symptoms are very easy to reverse. And all it takes is a little bit of estradiol, very low doses, and, and the problem is solved. We also have testosterone. So uh, many women actually feel best on estradiol and testosterone because that is truly what their ovaries made in the premenopausal state. So you might be thinking, well, testosterone is a male hormone, but in the fact of the matter is that women's ovaries made a small amount of testosterone when they were functioning fully. So estrogen and testosterone are the standard hormone replacement uh, options. Um, there are many, many types of estrogen replacement out there, patches, pills, uh, creams, gels, vaginal rings, uh, many, many options for estrogen. Uh, testosterone, there are fewer options, and actually most insurance companies um, don't cover testosterone either. So again, we have creams, we have sublingual trochies, we have lots of options uh, for these women who are suffering with menopausal symptoms. But one of the most popular options at this point is um, hormone replacement time release pellets that are placed under the skin and last for about three to six months. And the time release technology slowly releases the estrogen and testosterone into the system. So we're finding that, that these hormone replacement pellets are very, very popular for a number of reasons. You put them in, you forget about it. You come back three months later, have your levels drawn, and uh, then we decide about when you need pellets again. So it's no fuss, no muss. You don't have to keep the cream uh, refrigerated. You don't have to remember to take your pills or you know remember to put your sublingual trochee in. So uh, estrogen and testosterone can be uh, can be administered in a pellet. Uh, we make a small incision in the skin, drive the pellets under the skin, and then cover the small incision with two stray strips and a Band-Aid. The other advantage of pellets is that the levels that we can achieve in the bloodstream are much higher and much more physiologic or similar to the levels that a woman was making in her 40s than almost any other any other potential hormone replacement therapeutic regimen. You know, patches are okay. They'll give you a reasonable level of estrogen. Um, 
uh, creams, gels, whole, all of these will give you a reasonable level of estrogen, but not a great level of estrogen. You're not going to feel like you're 45 again. The other advantage is that we can easily get testosterone into your system. Now, testosterone increases the sex drive, increases orgasmic capacity, ability to lubricate, and also elevates mood. So if you give birds testosterone they sing more uh, mood can definitely be elevated with testosterone and then one of the most one of the greatest advantages of testosterone is that it it ups it kicks up the energy level so if a woman does have a uterus um, we have to counteract the estrogen stimulation of the uterine lining with progesterone if she doesn't have a uterus we don't have to worry about this because we don't want to overstimulate the uterine lining uh, with estrogen it can get into bleeding problems and hyperplasia and things like that so if a woman has a uterus she needs to also take progesterone but the uh the pellets are generally affordable they're very effective and easy to place you know we do it under a local anesthetic and uh, it really is a very simple procedure and then you're off and running for the next three months so uh, pellets are a very popular option uh, particularly for the busy woman the woman who travels a lot and it's something that is reasonable to talk to your physician about thank you very much